Oh, oh, how's it hanging, Freedom Partners? My name is Voya, and welcome back to episode 5 of Freedom Flash Fridays. In the last episode, I showed you all how to make an awesome thumbnail, but then I asked you all in the comments what you wanted me to make in Photopea. So taking some of those suggestions, let's get to the true power of Photopea by showing you something that you'll probably find pretty useful. Gaming thumbnails. My specialty. And remember, if you have any ideas of what you want me to make in Photopea for the next episodes, let me know in the comments down below. But let's start and make our beautiful, perfect gaming thumbnail. And here we are back again in our good friend Photopea. Now, if this doesn't look familiar for some reason, then be sure to go back and watch episodes 1 through 4. If you've already seen all those, then you know what to do. You go in, start a new project, make sure that you are on HD, make sure that your resolution is 200, background transparent, and then you can create your beautiful blank template. Now to begin with a gaming thumbnail, you want a picture that is most likely taken right out of your video or the game that you are playing. For instance, I took this image while playing Forza Horizon 4. I took this image, this is not an image that you'll find anywhere else. That is ideally what you want. However, if there are no good shots from within the game that you can use, then of course you can go and look up um, other pictures on Google Images or whatever. Now there's one problem with this image, and it's that it's not focusing on what we want it to. We want the three cars here to be the focus. We don't want text down here, and we don't want so much space on the sides. So we're just going to go and we're going to resize it a bit just to hide those and make it look a little prettier. And something, something like this looks about right. And you'll see in a second why I left so much space open over here on the left. This is just by design choice, you don't have to do this, but I'll talk about that more towards the end when we get there. So next, I'm going to show you all a few new tricks that I haven't shown before. And the first is by going up over to here to these three tools. The one that we want to use is the magnetic lasso tool. Now when you select the magnetic lasso tool, Nothing is going to be happening until you click, and you only want to click when you are on the car, at least in this case. You'll want to click on your subject at hand, which in our case is the car, and you'll see that as we drag the cursor along, it'll automatically, for the most part, connect to the side of the car. And it may not be perfect, and that's when you can click, and that'll place a point, like that, and it'll snap to that point. But for the most part, it tends to do pretty good at clipping to the car. Just going along the car, making sure it gets the outline, making sure that it doesn't mess up down here, since there are a lot of colors down here it may want to mess up on. So once you have that, you'll see that it is outlined. And once it is outlined, you'll want to copy it and paste it in a new layer. So now you have two different layers and your background. You'll have the picture that you brought in and what you just made. So if you make the picture that you brought in invisible, you'll just have the part that you copied. If you make the part you copied invisible, you won't see a change. Yet. This is where the fun begins. So now you want to go back to your image layer. We're going to do another new trick here, so get ready. We're going to go up to filter. We're going to go down to blur and we're going to go to motion blur. Since this is a race going on here, we're going to make it look like a little bit more like a race. We're going to angle this this way since the cars are going in that direction, and we're going to change the distance. And you'll see as we make it the distance more, it'll get blurrier and blurrier, except for the part that we copied. Now it'll look like the front of the car is in focus, and that's what we want. Something like that. Now, that looks pretty good. Now it's the front of the car in the focus, and the rest of it is blurred out. Now, moving on from this, we're going to add a little touch to this just to make it look nice. And these are speed lines. So once you have your speed lines in, you're going to go select the magic wand tool, 
click everything that's black, and then erase it all. And you'll see that now you have some nice little speed lines on your screen. But that's not all. We're not done with the speed lines yet. We're going to take the speed lines and add another blur to them, but instead of using a motion blur, we're going to use a radial blur. And this will add two different types of blurs. You can use spin or zoom. We want to use zoom, and you'll see that as we move it, it'll look as though they're zooming in towards the screen. We'll press OK, and then we have our beautiful speed lines. Now, of course, layering is everything, so see all these down here? They look kind of weird being over the car, don't they? But all we have to do is move the speed lines on this layer here below the layer that we copied, and that already looks much better. It gives a 3D effect to the thumbnail and makes it look as though the car is sort of popping out of the thumbnail. That is what you want. Next is not necessary, but for this thumbnail, I'm just going to throw it in, and that is, of course, the title of the game. Forza Horizon 4, or whatever game you may be playing. You don't always have to put the title of the game or the logo for the game, but for this one, I'm going to put it. Especially if you play a lot of games on your channel, it can be helpful, um, especially if they're similar games. So if you play lots of racing games, having the title of the game in the thumbnail and in the title would be really, really helpful. And for these, we're just going to go through, give it a stroke, and give it a drop shadow. So of course, you'll go into effects, give it a white drop or a right stroke, make sure that it's not too thick, not too thin, just right, and then we'll add a drop shadow to it. Make sure it's angled right, make it a little darker to fit your fancy, and boom, just like that, we have Forza Horizon 4 and our car. Now, one thing I like to do sometimes is put the title inside the thumbnail. Well, how are you going to do that? This is how. We're going to take our text tool and we're going to click and you'll see that it'll load our text tool, of course. Now, we're going to go and change the font that we have and the font that I'm going to use is called Action Man. Once Action Man is loaded, we're just going to type in Kansai Durifto right there. And of course, resize it to the size that we want it to be. Put it about the same angle as the logo and drop it right below. Resize it to make it look prettier. And boom, we have Kansai Drifto Forza Horizon 4. But something still doesn't look right. It's just black text. It looks kind of bland. Well, you thought I was done introducing new things, didn't you? Well, I'm not done. There's, there's more to come. So next, you're going to want to find an image, any image. And we're going to take that image, save it on your computer, and drag it up here onto the project bar. And when you let go, you'll see that it will load right here. Now for this part, pay attention. You have to go up to Edit, Define New, and Pattern. And you'll see that it will say Pattern Added, and there's nothing here anymore. Where'd it go? Well, now if you go back to your project here, you go down to Effects, you click Pattern Overlay you'll see that there's this gross yellow overlay on your text. That's really ugly. You don't want that. So all you have to do is click the pattern and you'll see your pattern right there. You can adjust it. You can adjust where it is on the text and you can adjust the size of it. And of course, the opacity. Now, since the text is just black, changing the opacity will make it darker. We don't want any of that. We're just going to make it look pretty fancy gonna center it like this boom and there we have Kansai Drifto now just like the Forza Horizon 4 we're gonna add a stroke but since the text is bright with the bright red the white we're gonna take and make the stroke black make it a little thicker not too thick but something like that looks good and then we'll add a drop shadow don't need it to be that far away make it a little darker and boom, you have your thumbnail for Forza Horizon 4 episode Kansai Durifto. Now, of course, you won't be using all these steps for every gaming thumbnail that you do. However, they are all nice and really good tips for any thumbnail that you may be making. You want there to be a focus from the episode on the thumbnail, like we did with the car and the blurring. It makes the car pop more and adds more focus to the car than anything in the background. 
You have the title of the game so that it's easy to spot without having to read an entire title, and the title of the video right there in the thumbnail. Now, of course, for the last step, we've gone over this way too many times. You go to File, Export as, PNG, and then make sure that everything is right. 1280, 720, 100%. Press save and it will download your new image right there. And there you go, an awesome thumbnail idea just for you. Do you have any other suggestions? Let me know in the comments down below. It can be anything as specific as Fortnite gaming thumbnails. Please help me if that's your request. Or anything as generic as just thumbnails in general, banners, logos, whatever it may be. If you have an idea, let me know down below. So thank you all for watching Freedom Flash Fridays. My name is Voya, and I will see you all in the next episode. Woo!